I'm a little lamb who's lost in the world. Hi guys, old Radio Isle here. As promised, I received my FM to AM transmitter yesterday. Shipped very quickly, got here less than a week. And uh, as promised, I'm going to show you how it works, give you my thoughts on it, and let you judge for yourself. That is Frank Sinatra playing through it. That's attached to the iPod. That's a rather nice feature of this thing, I think, is uh, you can select your own music source. And it comes comes with well. Let me tell you what it comes with. It comes with the uh, the power supply, the wall wart, nine volt. It uh, operates on either a nine volt battery or this um, wall supply. You have there. You can see the battery door. As far as the radio operation part of it, what you do is you plug the thing in and uh, it's best to, well, I'll go through the instructions. The instructions say you that you, and there are very good instructions included with it. The instructions say that you tune the radio to a clear channel between 1400 and 1600 kilohertz and then plug in the the uh, converter well uh, there's a, a an on off switch on it you locate the antenna somewhere near the radio that's the antenna And then um, it, it suggests you use an iPod or whatever for a music source. And then uh, you can tune in the converter. It includes a little handy dandy tool. We've all seen those. And there's a hole on the underside of the uh, case that you, with a tuning slug, you just tune that until you hear the music. In my case, I didn't do that. I didn't have to do that. It goes 1500 and there's no, no station on AM. And I got the uh, as you can hear, you know. But come ye back when summer Then you unplug the the iPod. So that's a an FM station. And you just tune until you get the FM station that you want. In my case, A 
ACDC. National Margarita Day. In my case, as you can see, nothing really comes in clear. However, I don't feel that that is a any kind of design flaw in the uh, in the converter. I, I just don't get radio reception here worth a darn. I, there are a few radios that I get pretty, pretty good. It's back on the back on the iPod. It's turned on, power up. This is a fairly sensitive tuner in this console. And I, here we're, here we're at 1300. Fifteen hundred. And I can't pull in a station. So its broadcast range is very limited, as you would expect, you know. So I guess my verdict on it, or my opinion, is that it works works very well. I think uh, to prove that theory, I'm going to take it into my office and uh, where I do get an FM signal, and I'll try it there 
with a radio. But what I suspect it's going to end up being is it's going to uh, it's going to be a, a transmitter that works very well in proximity to the radio that you're transmitting with or two. Uh, but as far as using it as a, a house transmitter, that's just not going to work. So I think it probably works for what it was designed for. I think it works pretty well. But very, very limited range. So if you know if you're a guy that has one vintage radio that you want to transmit to, I think you know I think it'd be great. You just put it next next to the radio and away you go. But if you're like me, you know you've got radios all over the place, then not gonna work. that helps uh, that either muddied or cleared the uh, AM transmitter picture a little bit for you guys uh, it, you know at $59 am I you know completely satisfied mm -hmm. Remains to be seen. You know, this might end up being the transmitter that I use in my office all the time. Listen to the oldies and that kind of stuff. But for a home transmitter, not not a lot of use for it. Like I said, you know, I think it works. It, it probably it works very well as a you know if you want to hook your iPod up to it and I'm not going to say that it doesn't work well with uh, FM I'll film a little segment at my office and we'll we'll see but in any case it doesn't have the range to really work well as a home transmitter all right guys thanks for watching and uh, more radios playing through <laughs> various transmitters along the way all right guys here's the added footage of uh, this FM to AM transmitter. I'm at my office. This is the silvertone that Art gave me. And there it is playing through the iPod. So let's uh, disconnect the iPod and see how it works on FM. Good afternoon. I'm Radio Rich. I'm here Saturdays from 2 and a beautiful day. It's already in the 60s. 
get outside and play if you're not already and keep it on Casey. Not bad. I got a great rate at Navy Federal. I move in next week. The disposal there? Brand new. I check. Four million members. Four Northbound before 44 West, there's a stall off to the right shoulder. You may slow a bit past there, but... 35. And Atkins will set it up again. And as America's health care system... ...here, you know, where's the love? I'm tired. That's all this talk on FM. Fitness, drop the... down with their mortgage and feeling stuck in their current home I'm Mike all right King. guys I guess I would give uh, this FM to AM transmitter a, a thumbs up again as I said you know it's for use with a single radio you know you have to have the radio the antenna in very close proximity uh, reading the instructions further I saw that it said it needs to be within three feet well I would debate even that, but it does work well. It works uh, well as far as, as tuning in FM. It's very, you know, the size of the control makes it really sensitive. I mean, just turning it the least little bit can make a, a huge difference. So, but it works well, and I think. Uh, at where it's at now is where it's going to stay. It's going to going to be my workplace transmitter. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.